If you hold Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, or any altcoin, you need to stay and watch this video. Because as of yesterday, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu have made some very big moves, including altcoins. Very interesting to see what the heck is happening. Cryptos were crashing yesterday. The last couple of days have been very red. And as we have expected, there has been a very big bounce. Now look at this. This is the 30 minute time frame for Dogecoin. Dogecoin yesterday crashed all the way to 12 and a half cents and bounced up 8%. Even more so, Shiba Inu literally crashed all the way down to 0 0.0001839 and had moved 20%. A lot of altcoins had made some crazy gains in the last 24 hours. But are altcoins, yes, they've of course bounced because there was a big crash, but are they going to continue to go up? What is going to be happening in the crypto market? Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking about every single cryptocurrency this video is relevant to every cryptocurrency if you hold crypto in your portfolio we're going to be taking a quick deep dive and look into what cryptos are most likely going to be happening experiencing this week where they headed and much more now if you love these quick get to the point crypto videos make sure you subscribe with notifications on consider smashing up the like button and let me know in the comments below what is your favorite altcoin and what altcoin do you think will outperform the market this year? Now, look at this. So coin market cap, of course, we are seeing red, we're seeing green, but most things are green, even after the drop yesterday. So the market had recovered and we have to take a quick look at Bitcoin. I'm going to show you exactly what happened. So Bitcoin, if you watch the video that I have on my other channel, Miles G Trading, I highly recommend it. You should definitely watch it if you want to understand where the entire crypto market is headed at all times with technical analysis, especially if you are a trader and investor in cryptocurrencies. But Bitcoin last night, I'm going to show you exactly what happened, has been following this trend very carefully, ladies and gentlemen. Bitcoin has been respecting the resistance and support levels, as I even showed you in my video last night on this channel, that is very likely that Bitcoin and cryptos are going to bounce up. They bounced up exactly where I said they would. Look at this. We, because we've continued to respect this downwards trending support level. Bitcoin respected it and is bouncing up. But Bitcoin is getting really close. Bitcoin is getting very close to the resistance. So that may have been the little recovery pump. That may have been the top of the recovery from last night or this morning that we are experiencing. We're probably about to head down. Um, we may have another two to 3% move to the upside before we continue to go down unless we actually break out. Now, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in the next couple of days are going to be making a very big move as Bitcoin is literally the whole crypto market. Every crypto follows Bitcoin. So whenever cryptos get squeezed in the small little apex like we see 100% of the time, there's going to be a very big move. Now, there's a lot of fear and FUD going to be happening this week with the Fed meeting and interest rates. So there's going to be a lot of volatility in the crypto and stock market, but there probably is actually, in my opinion, going to be a lot of bullish volatility. That is my speculation. That is my guess. But there is going to be some bearish volatility in the meantime. I personally think Bitcoin is going to have a very big explosive move this week, which means that most all cryptocurrencies are going to be sharing that same pump and explosive move. That's personally what I am thinking. But Overall, the market is very fearful, very bearish. Every time we pump, we continue to go down. Look at this. Now, look at this. The resistance levels, Bitcoin, whenever it continues to pump, it goes lower and lower and lower. Look at that. You can see that the highs are getting lower and lower. The lows are getting lower. So we are in a downtrend, but we are getting literally to the point, to the brink of the edge of a breakout, which means that this downtrend, that this downtrend is probably going to be changed here soon um, to an uptrend. That's my personal opinion, because this pattern right here, of course actually is a bullish reversal pattern even though it is bearish in the immediate short term but if we zoom out and see and take a look at what's actually happening this happens all the time bitcoin has a big move and then it starts to go down for quite some time and get squeezed into an apex which time and time again we see happen over and over before every single breakout to the upside if we zoom out we see it look at this there's a big move downwards trend get squeezed into this little apex with compression the same thing happens boom here again again and again and again so that's what's happening right now we're going to keep a close eye on the market probably tonight there's going to be some more volatility as the futures market opens up at 7 p.m eastern um and all tonight really late and super early before the stock market opens is going to show us also where the direction of the crypto market is headed now shiba inu and dogecoin 
they have literally bounced up very hard and very fast. Honestly, if you wanna trade and make money in this market, the best way to make money consistently is to wait for things to crash. When things crash, you buy the dip, just like we did in the Patreon and made a whole bunch of money in the last couple of hours. You buy the dip, you literally, if you would have bought a crash last night for Dogecoin, you would have made about 10%. If you would have bought the dip for Shiba Inu yesterday, you would have made about 20%. No lie, guys. And in my Patreon, we have buy alerts, literally, for some of these cryptocurrencies like Solana. We had Ethereum last night. We made some awesome profits. And in my Patreon, in Tier 3, I told people to sell where you can follow all of my exact trade alerts yesterday before the crash, and then we bought the dip. So that's what I personally do as a trader. And as far as Shiba Inu and Dogecoin and altcoins are concerned, I personally believe, of course, when Bitcoin is being in a bear market, when Bitcoin when Bitcoin is in a bear market, they do see bigger crashes. They do see bigger drops. So it's good to be diversified, which I can also help you to do in the Patreon. So it's good to be diversified and to hold strong as well. These are a couple of things that you can do to implement. But whenever you buy these crashes on these small altcoins like Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, you make crazy gains. So in my opinion, overall, the market is very bearish. But as I have showed you with the Bitcoin chart, we are being squeezed into an apex, which means a very big move is going to be taking place. It's either going to be bullish or bearish. We do not know, of course. But based on the way things are setting up, I personally think, just my opinion, I can be totally wrong that we are going to be seeing a big breakout to the upside. Now that breakout, in my opinion, may not be a move that's gonna take Bitcoin all the way to 48,000, which is my price target, but it could be a five to 10% move. And a five to 10% move is a lot of profits if we can take those profits, especially and sell before it crashes afterwards. But hopefully this move here in the crypto market will take us out of this bearish market and allow us to see some nice gains in the next coming weeks. Even taking a look at book map, this is where this is called a heat map where I can literally see every single order book on every crypto exchange It's called book map. And what I like to do here is the red shows where all these orders at. It shows the basically the support and the resistance levels. So right here we have thousands of orders for Bitcoin. Um, also right here in the blue shows not as much volume of orders. So just kind of zooming out, we can see that whenever, whenever there's a lot of orders on the top side, it shows that there is that these are actual sell orders, limit orders, and that right here on the bottom side, we can see there is a lot of buying orders. And by just literally seeing what's happening right here, we are seeing a lot of these orders being removed off the bottom, which means that the whales believe that the price action is going to be going higher. And so for Bitcoin, these levels of resistance are going to be about 38,600 and then 800. A lot of orders right up here. So it does appear that the whales believe that the price action is bullish and is going to be headed up. So we'll be taking a further look into that. Now, if you want to get access to this inside information, you can sign up using my link, in my video description or my top and comment book map. You get a bunch of special bonuses and discounts if you use my specific link. And in addition, if you want to learn technical analysis, if you want to learn when to buy and to sell, to know my secrets when it comes to investing and trading, go ahead and sign up for my course at milesginvestments.com or you can join the Patreon where you get access to all these trade alerts. You can speak to me on the phone and so much more. That's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And to the end, share this video with a friend or family member and I will see you all later.